Good morning, everybody. AmpRepairGuy.com, 203-892-4119. So, it is Friday. Yay. But it's raining, or, well, was raining. We're supposed to have, uh, like, five days worth of rain, something like that. That's no fun. So, we have another Ameritron AL811H in for repair. So, I'm going to go through it and do everything that needs to be done to it. So, it had 811s in it. I'm going to ground the grades right to the metal, add the gas discharge tubes, remove the gas discharge tube off the panel. Also, the MOV off the rear panel. And uh, do everything else I normally do, okay? So, these straps are very rigid, so I'll change those. Problem is, these, these end up snapping over time. Look at this one. So, they are. Um, tricky to install without having the strap wick up the solder, but I've done so many that I am now good at it. So, I'm going to say something. These boards are fine. I don't have problems with them. You know, if you, maybe it's because I ground the grids and, you know, everything's correct when they leave, but I don't have parasitic problems or any of that stuff. So, if you forget to put the split washer between the board and the top of the choke then the strap can touch areas where it shouldn't be touching and then you have issues so again no real reason to upgrade the board you know sometimes i'll just buy an upgraded board like let's say this is damaged that the resistor is overheated like crazy and the board's messed up then it's just you know i'll buy a new one you know, i'll get another one i'll get an upgraded one but at some point i'm going to have these boards made and I'll have them, and I can wind the coils myself, mount the resistors and caps and all that. But, um, yeah, so I might even put it on the Harbach site so people can just put it together themselves as a kit. All right, so that is about it for now. I will see you guys soon. Stay tuned. Also... Of course, I'll put a longer screw in the base of the plate choke, press the socket clips, clean the socket clips, clean the band switch with deoxy gold, input rotary switch with deoxy gold, and I'm going to change the SO239s because these things always end up failing. Look at that. Well, they need to be done anyway. Look, in out. Like, there's a way to show how little makes you look. This one has a little more grip, but not much. So, see you guys soon. Stay tuned. Look at this. This is why it's important to send something for me to go through. First off, you know, like I said, these nuts are usually loose most of the time. And it's really bad to go through a screw to ground the grid. Just don't do that. Okay, so, look at this. Look at that connection. No solder! Just crimped around. I see stuff like this all the time. I leave no stone unturned. And I don't unsolder the leads from the board because it's soldered through. It's a double sided board. I just clip it right at the connection point here and here. I remove those and I rewrap it, resolder it, resolder each lead. They didn't use zip ties over here, so I'll fix that. This nut was loose right here. Big no-no. I'll tighten up on the hardware after that secure the two air variable capacitors. This one had a screw put in and now it has an Allen. The other one has two Allens. So this one was probably slipping and they probably stripped both of the Allen screws. Alright, so I already moved the gas the gas discharge tube and the metal oxide varistor, so I'm gonna get back to work. Socket screws all tightened up real tight. 
Press socket clips, clean them with deoxy gold, fix the solder connections, added the two gas discharge tubes, and grounded the grid connection directly to the metal. So now I'm going to put the longer screw in, secure the plate choke, and uh, get back to work. See you soon. We're about done with this 811H, but I want to point something out. Had the same issue with the last one, and I talked about this in at least one other video in the past. So we have a piece out of a parts unit, basically a straight edge. So, look at this. Okay, it's the chassis in the back, and then the floor. Core of the transformer is out too far. So what I have, what I do is I loosen the four nuts on the bottom and I slide it over a little bit. So you don't want this pushing out on the cover because it'll create a bulge and you just don't want that. Okay, so I'm going to take care of that and I need to ask the customer what band he wants to see it working on and I'll test it on all bands and show it working on the band he wants and then I'll show you everything I did. So, see you soon. We're back with the completed AL811H. Customer wants to see it working on 80 meters. So we got the radio set to roughly 50 watts. It's on 80, there are the settings, one KW slug, PP kit is on, audio hello, 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 shh, 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 800, 800, 800, 800, 800, 800, 800, 800, 800, 800, 800, 800, 800, 800, 800, 800, 800, 800, audio hello, 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 Audio hello 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 audio hello 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 yeah so let the tubes cool off and I will show you everything I did see you soon put the completed amp with the cover off so I moved the transformer over so it's no longer putting pressure on the cover check the meter protection diode it was okay I replaced the straps for the parasitic board checked all the connections underneath fixed solder joints, tightened hardware, grounded the grid connection for each tube right to the metal, added the two gas discharge tubes underneath, removed the gas discharge tube off the rear board, also the metal oxide varistor off the rear board, cleaned the rotary switch with deox gold, you know, band switch, and the input rotary switch with deox gold. This does not have a detent, I'm going to have to tell them it has it, so it stops at 160, but you'll just have to make sure you stop there, there's no easy way to add it but it's fine as long as he just stops there. So, I tighten up the nut in the back of your variable cap. It just had a lot of loose hardware. So it has brand new SO239s from MaxGain Systems, brand new tubes from Penta Labs, both awesome companies. I always make sure it has the proper size fuses, so works as it should. And uh, that's about it. So it is the weekend. Uh, I've been keeping my work area pretty clean. I'm going to we have to do something with the radio and move that out of the way. And uh, I think next week I'm going to have some time to work on my multiband amp, which I'm excited about. So, just hard to motivate myself. I work on amps all day, every day. So, it's like, you know, working on something for myself that I'm not getting paid for. It's just, it's hard. So, but plus, it's, it's, uh, it's nice out. It's almost summer. So, uh, Doing a lot of outside stuff too. So anyway, please like, share, and subscribe. Websites are amprepairguy.com and also harbachelectronics.com. Also zip tied all the wires that needed zip ties. And uh, this thing is better than new. So again, thanks for watching and have a great weekend. 73.